we're having dragon fruit for breakfast. Part of our breakfast anyway, look at that. Oh, that is beautiful, isn't it? because it's got to pass through Mauna Loa, Mauna Kea, and Haleakala to get to where yeah. our, our area. We're shielded yeah, pretty well. Maui. What do they think? It's we're feeding them? Well, oh, they're running shoot. up here and they think, try the banana. See okay. if they eat the banana. Okay. I don't know if chickens eat bananas, but I saved them a little portion of my breakfast. So let's see here. Oh, oh God. Oh, <laughs> Talked to the cashier at uh, Savers and then it rained in Kanayo real bad. Now we're at Habitat for Humanity. Let's see what they have in here. All right, do a haul for us. Show me this, this thing first. Oh. A dollar. We got a <laughs> leather punch, punch, an old rusty leather punch. <laughs> and then a clamp. Is handy. And Michael got this pole. It's an iron bar. Uh, I'm going to fill it with concrete and then I'm going to make my own uh, concrete weight. Okay. Good morning guys, I haven't given you a tour of the garden for a while. Uh, we actually have the weekend off, so today is Sunday. We had yesterday off too, which is really rare, usually we're working. But because of the hurricane, our shows were all cancelled and so we had some time off. So anyway, I've been out here working in the yard. Agave, Ortolaca, I forget what kind of... Michael planted this one from seed, huh? Yeah. And tiny. it's such a yeah, such a tiny little seed and it's so delicate when it first sprouts, but this one turned out really nice. It doesn't like too much rain because it's so fragile. What is this one? I don't know. Uh, I forget what that's called. We got a couple of cactus. Cactus succulents, yeah. I don't know what that one's name is, but it's the nice kind of flower kind. And then this little one here. This is where we went to get them up country. So if you're on Maui, you can go up to this Rainbow Acres Cactus and Succulent Nursery. It's actually really fun. They have some really cool stuff there. Here we have a pineapple. Michael planted this one. Looks like it's doing really well. And my other pineapples are over here. This one is the second one that I planted. It's doing really well. It's getting huge. The first one is over here. And I can tell you the difference between the two. Like, this is the first one, but it's way, uh, like, stunted. And the reason is, basically, it has three coming out here. I didn't know if I was able to separate those once they all started growing. It was off of one uh, pineapple top, you know, just a regular pineapple top that you get at the grocery store. And it didn't have the center. And so that's why it ended up, ended up growing three kind of new growths out the side there. Um, whereas that one did have the center and so it's all nice and lush and growing nicely whereas this one's all stunted so anyway that's the reason why so if you do want to grow pineapple and you just want to grow it from a top uh, from the grocery store then choose the ones like look down in the center when you're picking them out and just make sure that it looks like it's all intact you know it's not like missing the center part because that's really important to help them to grow beautifully i've got meyer lemon here look at these guys oh that's a nice one there that'll be good and then this little guy very nice so that's a meyer lemon which actually i need to replant these or repot them um, they need to be in slightly larger pots this is the tahitian lime um, my lavender is not looking well. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know. Did it get too much rain? Because I know they don't like it too wet. This little sprig here is blooming 
and that's the only one that looks healthy. So I'm not sure. Did it get a disease or is it just like, mold. oh, mold? Okay. Well, is there anything going to be here in this yeah, kind of bald I've spot? Yeah, uh, those papaya seeds in there, the low bearing oh, papaya. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to propagate some different ones over here too. I got some uh, new sunflowers, uh, rambutan. A bunch of these are for the papaya. These blooming right here are sunflowers. We'll plant those in the next couple of days. Okay. And then this is, let's see, I was growing these inside actually. I had them in a plastic baggie, uh, just like a little Ziploc bag in a wet paper towel. And they were just seeds uh, from lychee and they grew. So they sprouted like really long roots. I totally, I threw them up on top of the fridge, totally forgot about them for like two months. And I just remembered, I looked up there and they were like growing these like massive roots and they'd already sprouted. So I popped them in there. Hopefully those will make it through. And along the front here, I've got zinnias and like some different types of wildflowers. Um, some of the seeds that I had from a long time ago, they just sort of like replanted themselves because they were just annuals so they already died off like the original ones that grew and blossomed and then their seeds just you know kind of respread back into the dirt and now they're growing again so that works out because they just kind of take care of themselves oh i've got um my let's see i almost said miss all american beauty no my rose this is the double delight it kind of has a strawberries and cream sort of look to it look in there how pretty is that anyway the roses are doing fantastic like for a while there when i had them um they were all over there they weren't doing so well they were getting some you know like bug problems and pest problems but uh, we kind of moved them you know like ones up here and this one here this one's actually getting quite bushy and you see how big it's gotten? Like it's like spreading out now since we moved mm. it. This stretch of zinnias here are kind of like on their last leg. Yeah, this is... So they've already, they're annuals, so they already kind of have lived out their life. But I'm sure they'll end up uh, sprouting again. Are you going to replant your, or put this in a pot? This is Michael's uh, avocado tree. Sell that, yeah. Sell it. Yeah. Let's sell well, it. It's going to take root and then it's going to be the spring. Well, you can put it in a pot, can't you? I guess. Okay. It's pretty nice looking. <laughs> I know, it's very healthy and delightful. Usually papaya trees are like as tall as that palm tree, or can be as tall as that palm tree, you know, 10. But this one's low bearing, so you can just grab the fruit right off of it. Yeah, so it just stays like, kind of like short and chunky like that. Can you guys see how big this thing is? Like, that is one massive papaya there. Another couple bunches here. Oh, there are more bananas growing. Oh, geez, see, they're hiding up there. I didn't even notice. Look at that. Oh, there's nothing blooming on this rose. It's giant, though. Look at this. So, this is the sterling, kind of that lavender one I've showed before. But it's got some buds just starting there, but no blossoms right now. But it does put out a lot of flowers. I'm, I was really surprised. We've got plumerias. Oh, they're not blooming right now, but when they do, they look like that. Mitzi would so we've love got them. she would. <laughs> so we've got what three of them? Yep. One, two, and those are just from cuttings too. Just regular cuttings from the plumeria trees. Where's the other? Oh, there we go. On this side. Wait, what is going on with my lily koi here? I think it wants to is be it a trying friend. To, it's trying to grab my sunflower. This is not okay. Um, I want Michael to build a trellis. Well, he did this one, which is really lovely to help the lily koi grab on stuff because they were getting really kind of like wild. It? Yeah, a little maybe. And yeah. The next one I'll make narrower, so maybe I'll be able to wrap around it easier. Mm. Well, they do love to wrap around stuff. Look at this thing. This, and they're in pots. They're not like growing, you know, I've got them in pots contained. I don't know which one is which or what is happening right here. <laughs> but this one, whichever one it is, has reached all the way out here. What else do we have? Sorghum. Oh, we've got sorghum. What is that exactly? Uh, it's a grain that the birds like. Uh, the birds actually planted it. It was in the bird seed. 
Oh, okay. Of them eating out here when we had the planter or the feeder, they kicked it all out. <laughs> I'm going to be tearing some stuff out today because I want to put the trellis over here and put your uh, lilacoys like, you know, so they can uh, span it. I'll show you how I'm going to do that later. Okay. We've got culinary basil here. Uh, this is just growing in a regular five gallon bucket that Michael drilled holes into. We have two of those buckets out here. So we've got other sunflowers growing in the, well, it used to be the vegetable bed, but there's uh, a high turnover of plants here. Like there's always new stuff growing, uh, old things, you know, at the end of their life cycle and, and whatever. So we've had all kinds of stuff in here now. Uh, we do have some basil here. Basil, more basil down there. There's my dragon fruit cactus out there. We've got dracaenas down here. These are all from cuttings also. These are looking good. So I got a few pots of those. And these are Mexican torches, all these orange ones. The butterflies really love those. I've got like an army of aloe plants. I'm always having to shift them around because the sun, you know, it's been moving. Anyway, it's like, they're like really delicate. They don't like to get too much sun. So I keep having to like hide them in the shade. And oh yeah, we've got some nice aloe in here. I love using this for like facial masks, um, moisturizing nails, everything. Like I use aloe, I mean seriously, that stuff is like an awesome like beauty elixir basically. Pretty, pretty good job for your first garden, huh? Our and first then, garden. Know, our first garden. Yeah. See, I told you they love these Mexican torches. Those, the zinnias. This is my Kalamundan tree. I got this at the swap meet for 20 bucks. They sell them at like Home Depot for 60 bucks. So yeah, swap meet is such a score. You find such good deals there. And look at all the fruit that it has on it. So it already went through like one fruiting cycle when I first got it or, you know, whatever you call it. And now it's like put out all these. The first time around it only had like a couple pieces of fruit, like right after I bought it, and now it's like loaded. Look at all that. We haven't even been doing like anything special. I think it had some compost tea that we made. And that's pretty much it, so it's really doing well there. Sunflowers are some of my favorites. I just think they're so beautiful and they're so happy looking out here in the yard. Um, let's see, hold on, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> uh, pardon me. Uh, it's all the mold. Yes, something. Well, the rain. I say I'm allergic to rain because every time it rains, I have the worst allergies ever. I, I just bought basically a pack of medjool dates at Costco because we like to eat them and I just saved the seeds or the pits and planted them. So there's one. I got another one in that pot. So we got a little date tree there, another little date palm there starting. I almost forgot this cacao. So I've got five cacao trees. This one's doing really well. So it looks good. It's its leaves for the most part look pretty healthy and it's got a little bit of shade but it's its kind of in the sun I guess quite a bit. But there's a little bit of bug damage there. Overall it looks good and as long as the new growth is healthy then that's a good thing. And we have another agave there. So we've got one in there, one here. Yep, right there. Right. What is that? A Japanese beetle? Yep. It's trying to hide. Look, it's trying to look all inconspicuous. Like it wasn't me. I maybe didn't eat your roses. <sighs> it, maybe it thinks it's all like, you know, camouflage. Maybe. Kind of cute. They're cute. The babies are even cuter. <laughs> I was mad. They're strong. Feel that. Well. I'm sure. Pushing on you. Yeah, it's pushing. Jewel scarab. Is that a scarab of some kind? Maybe. 
Here, put it on. Should I wear it as a brooch? No, a brooch. Wear it as a brooch. What are they called? Brooch? Brooch. Brooch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the wind is picking up. All right, so that is our garden chore for today. And I do have to go out and run some errands. Um, I'm working on a couple projects this morning. So what time would you like to go out? Let's head out. Okay. All right, now we're on our way to Costco. I'm gonna get some quinoa salad. And what, what else are we getting? Uh, just some other miscellaneous else? stuff. That... I might get a coffee too. Get a coffee. Well, Here's what we're getting at Costco. Yeah, I just don't want to get home, I guess. Yeah. Okay. We're going to Sally Beauty. Seven. Here we go. Eight A. Light ash. I'm just gonna get two of them because, well, because there's only two. So. <laughs> Okay, now we go home. home. Hey guys, so we just got home from Costco and here's what we got. We got artichokes, Brussels sprouts, two of my favorite vegetables right there. I love those. And then this quinoa salad. This stuff is so good. I get it every once in a while. It has quinoa, cucumber, tomatoes, mung beans, red bell pepper, brown rice, kale, um, uh, cilantro, red lentil, and then it's like seasoned with uh, vinegar and salt and spices. So yummy. And then berries. So we've got blackberries, strawberries, blueberries, and oh, and then back here. Um, this is just like a little treat. We're pretty good about not over overdoing the treats, you know, like sugar-wise, but every once in a while you gotta treat yourself. So this is pomegranate with chia seeds covered in dark chocolate. They're actually giving these out as samples, so uh, yeah, they hooked Michael and I, we were like, we tasted it and we we're like, okay, we gotta get those. And this actually needs to be eaten today. This is a honeydew, and then I've got some lily koi's down here. Those are ready too. I know they always look all ugly, don't they? Like, but that means that they're ready to eat when they get kind of like wrinkly. They're like perfect inside. When I woke up this morning, it was on the floor next to the bed, like on my side of the bed. It freaked me out. And yeah, it is a tiny blue centipede. How weird is that? But the ants are already like. I just grabbed it with a piece of tissue, but it's so tiny that I guess it killed it, or well, I don't know. Anyway, it clearly has died and the ants are trying to make it a feast. Hey guys, I'm at Fabric Mart and I'm gonna get some of this gauze type of fabric here. It's like a cotton gauze. I think that'll be really pretty for a project. I got a couple ideas in mind. So I'm gonna get a few yards of that. What is this, rayon? I like this indigo colored one. Look at that, that's nice. It's kind of soft and stretchy. Hey guys, we are going to Savers. I'm gonna stop in here. I like coming to the thrift stores to look for interesting fabric. Like you can find some really cool like vintagey type fabric in thrift stores. Hey guys, I'm in Savers. Try on a few this is so soft. I think I want to get this for just like a beach cover up. It's like just really like lightweight and soft. I like the colors of it too. Very earthy. All right, this is a Neiman Marcus collection uh, cashmere short sleeve sweater. Kind of off the shoulder. It's got a very wide neck at the top. I kind of like it. It's really comfortable. All right, and then this top, I really just want to get so I can dye it, like maybe dip dye it, um, just because it's 100% cotton. So I rolled up the sleeves, it's actually a long sleeve. And it has these little front ties. So I figure I'd just like, maybe like dip dye, you know, just the bottom part. Maybe the sleeves too. Yeah, this might work. So this top is $6.99, the Neiman Marcus sweater is $4.99, and this one is $7.99. I think I can swing that, plus it's all 25% off every Monday, so I'm gonna get these three. 